Hi, thanks so much for joining me for this Get Ready With Me featuring these new Chanel lip shades that I picked up. If you saw my haul, you'll know I picked up three of the new shades. One is limited edition. I'm also going to be revisiting the Gucci palette that I recently picked up, as well as trying on a new to me Tower 28 blush. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Chantecai Anti-Pollution Mattifying Cream just in the center here. It seems like now that I'm back home, I have those allergies again, so it's definitely an allergy. Yeah, I definitely didn't have this in Italy. It actually went away in Italy, so I don't know what is making me have this reaction, but it's something here for sure. I recently, you're gonna be surprised, but I recently discovered Ali Andrea. I know so many of you are fans of hers. In fact, I think some of you have mentioned her in the comments before, um, this wonderful makeup artist, but I was watching one of her videos and I thought it was really interesting. I think it was the latest one where she showed um, some of the techniques that she said, according to her, that can age someone by the way they do their makeup. So let me know if you're interested in seeing me try some of those techniques. I think some of them I already do. I don't know if I did them on purpose, but there are others that I wasn't doing, so let me know. But I'm gonna go in with this product. I loved this in Italy. I took a little bit with me. This is the Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch. Um, yeah, I loved taking this because I didn't wear much makeup at all because it was so hot. I'm gonna go under the eye with this, but it was for a, mo a more no makeup makeup look. In fact, I use this more in the evening than anything else. Most of the time it was SPF because really everything, no matter how good the makeup was, was just melting off. I ordered the new Hourglass foundation and I'm not sure I picked the right color. Wow, it was really difficult to choose the shade on that one. Wow, this is really light for me right now, um, but we'll fix that. Really hard time selecting a color on that. I chose one, we'll see how it goes. And I posted part two of my vlog, if you, <laughs> really late, if you wanted to see that. That shows you how dark I get even with SPF really hard to stay out of the sun, but it's just impossible. Yeah, I'm avoiding my forehead altogether because it's just gonna be off. Just gonna go with Clay De Pose Concealer in Mocha for the dark areas and the exterior. Let's use this. Got my Clay De Pose Concealer brush. I looked for this on their sale. I didn't see it, the brush, on their site, so I don't know. They just don't have any or if something's happening with it. So I do post those sales on the community tab for those of you who want to see um, some of these products on sale. If I do see them on sale, I post them, especially things that I wear often like this. Oh, we're gonna need to fix a lot here. Oh gosh, I didn't realize how tan I am. I'm gonna go in with the Chanel Cream Bronzer here in tan medium bronze. Put a little bronzer here, but I forgot. I wanted to go in with a little bit of primer. Let's go in with the Chantecaille primer. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit of that bronzer, what's left over here, and just sweep. Perfect blur powder. I actually did see some videos on that Hourglass Foundation because I was trying to get some help figuring out what shade to pick up. I didn't see anyone who looked like me, but I noticed people were going deeper with the shade. Uh, so I don't know, it was really interesting. Like I saw people pick maybe one shade or one and a half shades deeper than their natural skin tone with that foundation. I think I chose a shade that's lighter, so we're gonna get to see what a lighter shade looks like on as well because I was really looking at the undertone, trying to find something with that peach and it jumped like two different shades before I could get to another peach undertone. So that was part of it as well. I'm gonna do brows and I think my brows are growing quite nicely where I've just actually been using this gel um, for the day without going in with pencil. But for more perfected look, I will go in with pencil, which I think I'll do here. So you can see how much the gel does for my brows, but I'm gonna fill in just to perfect it a little bit. But on the daily, this is fine. I don't worry about making it perfect, but of course for camera, I like filling them in. And I just fill in where I'm missing hair, just to even everything out. I don't fill in everything. Just a little bit in the front, a little on the top over here to even them out, but I don't really fill in in the middle anymore. So 
I'm gonna go in with the Gucci palette, the new one. I'm gonna continue playing with this, experimenting with it. This one all over the lid. Do something kind of neutral. Oh yeah, there was a request to see this shade, this plum shade. So let me add that to the exterior. It's pretty, it's like a lovely plum shade. When I did order the Chanel palette, but it's on the way, so I'll do that one next. Not the tweed, but the other palette. And then I'm going to take this shade here. It's, I think the one that says it's copper, but it doesn't look copper to me. It looks more rose gold. That's a little more coppery on the lid, but really pretty. Take a little bit of that copper under the eye as well. I'm just gonna take this deep plum shade and uh, use this brush to kind of wiggle it against the lower lashes, like I would an eyeliner. Actually, let me do that above as well. I'm gonna add mascara. Let's go ahead with, yeah, we're still gonna correct a little bit of this brightness here on my face, but I wanna go in with the blush first. So we've got the Tower 28. This looks really pretty. It's in the shade Magic Hour. It's got a bit of peach in it. So I'm gonna take this brush. I was gonna use my uh, Clay de Peau blush brush, but I only see one of them. I do have two of them, but I only see one right now. And uh, the other one needs a good wash. So I'm gonna go in with this for now. Should be okay. I think, actually, many of you let me know that you really like Tower 28 blushes. Seems to be doing quite well over both concealer and powder because I do like to set my concealer before I add cream blush. Sometimes it doesn't work out, but this seems to be working nicely. Actually, that's one of the nicer cream blushes I've tried. Yeah, really pretty. Okay, I'm going to go in bronze a little bit more just to kind of make this look a little bit more cohesive here. I'm gonna take a bit of my blur powder and just set the center. Oh, you know, I forgot to add, forgot to add, I forgot to add a little bit of the La Prairie. I just went ahead and used my Dyson Air Wrap again. I love that Dyson Air Wrap. I'm so sad I didn't get it earlier. That's how much I love it. So it's such a great solution for me because I don't usually get volume at the top here and that's what that does. And it's such a beautiful, like easy looking hairstyle. Yeah, it has solved so many issues for me. So I really enjoy doing my hair now and I don't enjoy doing my hair typically but I use it every morning. Actually, the larger barrel is the one that works the best for me. So yeah, so that's what I did to my hair. Just ran that through really quickly. It takes mere minutes. Let's go in with the lip shades that I left over there. So if you saw this watching video, you'll know that these three shades look very, very similar. And I'm thinking maybe that's a good thing because then you can see the difference on in case you were interested in one and really didn't know which one to select. But there is one that stood out as like, yeah, I probably wouldn't have picked it up had I seen it in person because I feel like the online images are not accurate. So the number is printed on the actual packaging. So that helps. One, nine, eight first. This is one, nine, eight. Really lovely formula. Just glide it on so easily. And this is my, like, the cooler version of my lip color. This is the shade 198. So I actually like this shade. I think it's pretty, it's nice for fall. It's a little bit, a little bit of drama, but not too much. It says here, perfect from the very first stroke, and I did notice that this lipstick leaves you with deep radiant and satiny color. So it's got a satiny finish. So not glossy, not matte, satiny. You can see it leaves a little bit of color behind. So let me see if I can remove the extra. 
Next we're going in with 199. This is the one that I said if I swatched this in store, I probably wouldn't have picked it up, but let's see how it looks on. Okay, yeah, it's got that like purpley grayish tone that doesn't work for my skin. But it certainly gives a mood. Like if I had something specific in mind that called for this tone, this has enough of that depth without being too purple, uh, but it's very dramatic, at least on my skin tone. Yeah, let me know what you think of this shade. I'm curious. I think some people might really like this shade. It's their thing. This is not really my thing. I like lip shades that will kind of brighten my complexion. I think this is dramatic, but a, like a wearable dramatic color. Kind of reminds me of the 90s. This one is 211. So actually, between this one and the first one, 198, I'm almost thinking I like 198 better for the fall. So this one has like a hint of a brick tone to it, still a little bit of a brown tinge in there. Um, still lovely, but I thought it would be a little bit brighter. Yeah, these are more intense than I had anticipated they would be. So I'm not sure, let me know. 198 or 211 or 199, let me know. As you can see, I went with 198, which surprised me because I thought I would like 211 better. Because it had more brightness to it, I thought it would warm up my complexion. But 198 seems to be the most harmonious with my complexion. 199 was just too purpley, a little bit too gray for my skin tone. For my preference, some of you may like it. It's a very specific look, I think. Again, it reminds me of the 90s. 211 had a little bit more of a brick red quality to it, which I think will look lovely with certain eye looks. But for this one in particular, I think 198 really worked really quite well. But really comfortable, a lovely hydrating formula with a nice satiny finish. So if you don't like anything too glossy and you don't like matte, this is a very, very pretty finish. Loved the Tower 28 blush on, really pretty natural color, just a hint of warmth on me. I think it's the perfect shade for me. I don't know what their other shades look like, but this would be the kind of shade I would look for if I was trying a blush for the first time because it has a bit of warmth to it. I like it to color correct a little bit in the front, especially with my dark spots here. So beautiful application on this as well. As for the Gucci palette, I really enjoyed using this again. First time I used most of the blues. And then this time, actually, I think this eye look goes really well with 198. But let me know what lip shades you picked up from the Chanel Fall Collection. I'd love to know. I have more Chanel on the way. In fact, either today or tomorrow it's coming. The eyeshadow palette and then what else did I order? So, oh, the mascara. I'm really curious about the mascara because it has a hint of red in it that's supposed to provide a lot of depth. And then of course, as the Tweed palettes come out, I will be picking those up as well. But that is it for today's video. So please take care of each other, stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you.